Um, my name is Alexis Smith, and I am the curatrix for uh, Bread and Puppet Theater, and today we are hosting 1,111 Copper Nails. That is the complete 36-year retrospective of the Bread and Puppet Theater calendar. Created, conceived, produced, and um, invented by Elka Schumann with um, her husband Peter Schumann's work. And we're here um, at the first calendar station, which was 1985, and we're about to go down to the Front Seat Coffee House Gallery in downtown Hardwick, about a block away, where we're launching and welcoming Peter and Elka and Tamar Schumann for the viewing of this dual exhibition. Love that. This is Danny's sister. And this is Rose. There's Rose and yeah. Pinky. And there's uh, Grandpa. Grandpa himself. Yeah. Imagine. Oh my gosh, that's not just the calendar, it's all these it's all these flyers. Mm -hmm. yeah. So it's very nice light here and, yeah. and mm. um, beautiful talk. So, Elka, I wanted to do this for you for two years. I've been working on this project. And uh, two lovely women helped uh, make the prints. So these are reproductions, they are not the originals. So that they would not be damaged. You know, sometimes we only have one copy left of a calendar. Yeah. So all of these are. The calendar and then the information from the back of the calendar, I tried to put it near the calendar. And then the whole images of the calendar. So this is here and this is all here. Great. And then the year 2021 is by the store over there. The old calendar, 2021, is right here. And then this is a calendar for sale here. And then these are, you know, all of the cards and books. So I really wanted you to be able to see everything that you did all together. So we're going to roll through this whole building down the road. And it's a lot of walls. With the help of the helicopter. So I'm really excited that you came today. I'm excited to, to be yeah. out. That's a good thing. 36 years? 36 calendar. years. With no two calendars in 1988, Mm. Which is kind of interesting. It's the only year there were two calendars, mm. and um, and I put them side by side so you'll be able to see them. Maybe mm. you'll remember why when why? you see them. But the first calendar was in 1985. Oh, mm. and it was the washerwoman. The washerwoman. Yeah. 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 So there were no calendars in 1986 or 1987. Why? It was like you started it first year, and maybe then some big things were happening those years. Who knows? Could be big tours. Yeah. Maybe well, you were on tours still. Or maybe Could it was be. just a one-time thing, and then you thought, OK, let's go back to this and mm -hmm. just do mm -hmm. it every year. Uh, in my opinion, both of us, Arka and I, we are deeply impressed with Diddy Halleck and Peggy Leo's calendar enterprise at the Henry Street Settlement House. Didi and Peggy were friends of ours. We had the same age kids, so we met them in the park, walking on the East River. On the playground. Hmm? Yeah. On the playground by the East River and so on. They all lived down there between Avenue D and C. And 
they both had a job at the Henry Street Settlement House, both Peggy and Dee Dee. And they worked with kids making mosaics and making calendars. They making did, calendars. And they did wood carving with the kids. And the kids, or lino rather. Lino carving with the kids. And from these lino prints, they made annual calendars. I don't know for how many years, but it, you know, and we were so impressed with those calendars. Yeah. I think that was our memory when we started the calendar. Hey, if Diddy could do it, we can do it too. Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, but you don't recall it that I do, yes. Yeah. And they were so neat. I don't know if we have, somewhere in our bookshops we have samples of those. The old calendars. calendar. But, but the first calendar, you were at the farm, right? You yeah. were in Glover. Yeah. So if it's 86 when we lived already uphill. Yeah. The house was built in 80, 82, somewhere around there, right? So we were already uphill and the puppeteers had taken over the farm. I so they threw tea. us out and we <laughs> They threw you out. And we moved up there. Yeah. included in the grandmas. Peter Schumann made the brush and pen drawings. Okay, text. Decorated from the back. Well, the reason is Grandmas true. are not here for eternity or so. It's an invitation to the kids to come and visit. That's right. I remember that's good. Remember? Yeah. It's the, the one. The six reasons to, why to visit your grandma. The tenth reason why to visit your grandma. That's right. So the ninth reason. It's total to visit your grandma. Because look where grandma is sleeping. That's really clear. Oh no, that's one of her grandsons. Lie down and consult with your favorite pillow. Okay. Oh, why? So when does your grandma <laughs> visit one? It's probably when Babushka was alive. Yeah. And that we noticed that the grandchildren didn't visit her. Wood. What's this one? <clears throat> oh, and this one is Vernon Papa 2002 Russian Proverbs. Oh, yeah. yeah. Russian <laughs> Proverbs. I'd be glad to go to heaven, but my sins are in the way. So that's why I jump over my sins all the time. <laughs> and the back side has a picture of your mother, correct? Yes, yes. Yes, it's beautiful. So we tried to put the backside somewhere where people can read, you know, what the yeah. story of the calendar was about. And Jerome wanted this one to be in like a river shape. So this calendar is, is mounted um, January, February, March through here, like a little river. Mm, nice. And then this one is a mountain. <laughs> and it, this is 2001 basic needs. And then we put, Peter has to back you up so you can see this one. The mountain, the mountain the at the top. The mountain. And 
This is basic needs. <laughs> and we hung it under the fire alarm. It was <laughs> fire on the mountain. <laughs> You know, after a while of hanging them straight, we were like, we have to do something different. We have to get this going here. So, yeah. That's good. Yeah, great, great, great. Great job. I remember all of them. You do? Except I can't, I can't see them. I'm too dizzy. Demon confrontation. Yeah. See, the demon yeah, yeah. and the two workers who work away on this boots. Yep. Yeah. She, it takes a while for Elka to like, get her feet under her. So, so far, majority is definitely cuts, right? Yeah. This and this very one. few drawing that but this, yeah. this is a photograph one coming up. And there's a picture of Bob's Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see it? Good. I remember it when I chose it. What's this called? What is this? It's kind of, see? Do you uh, remember that one? Because one they, they, they keep selling those posters all the time. That's this is the, the resistance calendar. 99. Right. So that's 22 years old now. We made a pyramid here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's, yeah, that's so neat. <laughs> the yeah. And then this is two calendars. This is um, 2000 and this is 1998, and um, there aren't many He's calendars with photographs, but this one has photographs of the winter pageant and... Oh, good, good, good. Wait, 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 which year is this? Oh, the millennium that. one. Isn't that the year we went... We oh, those are in. photos. Those are photos of, um, of like, what the chorus wore. They're, didn't we go to Hannover to and for all the time? 2000, yeah. 2000, yeah, that's good. So that's the one where it was more absent than at home. So this is from the chorus gowns. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. right. Beautiful, yes, yes. I, I hope it said that on the back of the calendar. 35 chorus costumes made in 1991. And look at the nice photo in between that too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. Where, where is, is that? that? It looks like a pageant, part of the pageant. Is that right? a, that's Goddard? Goddard, yeah. Oh, Goddard. The winter pageant in Goddard. Oh, my God. Famous winter Oh, pageant. my God. Oh, that where David Swan, wasn't he on skis also? Um, oh, no, he was a great warrior. Yeah. He was a great warrior. Thank you. Thanks, Elisa. Sure. Oh, there's that guy. <laughs> I think it was when you turned 80 that they cut the, the stilts off, right? <laughs> no more of that. I remember when we were in Middlebury in the parade and the wind picked up and he started going like this <laughs> and the band was behind and the, John and Michael. And the next to the band, beautiful pictures. This, 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 and then the band just went. That's amazing. Absolutely terrifying. There's Plainfield, there's our hometown. Oh, there's going over the water. Plainfield Bridge where we would jump into the waterfall. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. coming down the hill oh, towards the co-op. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's the white birds. That's, well, that's a great shot. Who's that yeah. guy? So who took <laughs> these shots? These Goddard... And where is, is this know, shot in back. New York City yeah. at the... That's from the Goddard. Are you happy? Yeah, it's really <laughs> great. This, uh, this is the big anti-nuke uh, protest in, in New York City. New York City. But yeah. And yeah, oh, here are the notes, video. notes on photos. January, rights of winter pageant at Goddard. February, the refugee so who procession. So took these photos? Uh, down there? It doesn't, well, I hope I put it well. Are they all yeah, photographer for this one, unknown, but Jim Crawford is one, uh, Richard Howard is one, um, Alexei Kolomnikov is one. So it's noted it's on various here. different yeah. Yeah. Oh. collections. So we're entering into what's kind of the main lobby of the building, uh -huh. and there's a restaurant in here. So a lot of people come into this restaurant area. 
So, and then the, the elevator is here. And this is the 1996. And this is the only piece the owner of the building said we couldn't take down. So we just made it go around there. That's good. And then this on your, oh, back up here is 1997. Becca, take a look at this. Okay. This Sorry, it's is a little tight yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. What the hell, who, love, where, door? The only thing you need is life. Okay. This hallway looks nice, though. Home calendar, so that's the theme home. Uh, so we'll do it here. Great. We'll do it too. Oh, you can see the What's that one called? The 50th anniversary. 50, yes. 50th anniversary. This is 2013. Mm -hmm. So it's just a relaxing dream time tour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this one is 2012. The man yeah. equals carrot. Oh, yeah. Here. And I never really got that. Something common and daily. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Like the sustenance uh, calendar. Oh, maybe it says something. In the year when man equals carrot, the shirt appears in heaven, and the candidate with the gold in his mouth realizes he has lost his hat to the pasture while the citizens live under gold a hole develops in the CEO. Who buys the inside? Who sells the information? Who feeds the news to the grown man? Ah, the mountain gives us coffee. Ah, progress. Ah, the world. <laughs> okay. That explained it. Lila <laughs> Wynn said, did get the color printing and layout. In 2009, while contemplating the global financial meltdown, that's what that year was. Okay, that gave us a little background there. The global financial meltdown. Look forward. It's a handsome bunch of woodcuts, huh? Yeah. What happened with the man equals carrot? Where did that come from? Oh, man equals carrot. That was a whole calendar type, I think. Yes, it was. Oh, gosh. Yes. Is that Olive? Hey! Hi, Elka. Oh, my God. You don't have to make my face. You look different. But you still look like one. Hi. Hi. Hello. 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 Now you do. Now I do, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Do you remember this one here? Yeah. Yes. Big, 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 big. Yes. Yes. And the calendar truly was that with these small sizes, right? Yeah, everything's the same. Yeah. This yeah. is the there aren't very many calendars that have a horizontal Wide. view, but yeah. this was one of them. There weren't very many. Right. But there was the way the layout worked, it's more like a cartoon or to cartoon, read it. Right. So that was a good um, idea, Elka. Okay. Put it sideways, indeed. Yeah. It yeah. reads easier that way. And you can really see this cool little copper, the way that we made this copper hanging thing. Yeah, so. it's neat. Look at this one, that's good. That's your favorite one. Remember this one? Which one is that? This is the Emily. Oh, oh okay. Emily Oh, right, right. Emily Dickinson. Oh, what Dickless is. What a wonderful bird. Only she could have made that up. I have about uh, 30 of these images wallpaper pasted in Montpelier on the outside as part of an exhibition. Whoa. And every window pane has hope is the thing with feathers. Hope is the thing with feathers. So it's, <laughs> it covers a window that good, looked good weird. Idea. So it was just. Good idea. So it was really nice. Yeah, that's good. Can you read them? Yes, yes. Yeah. You read them to me. Host the world. Bring me the sunset in the cup. Yeah. Remember that one. 
that that's a postcard also. Yes. And How happy is the what? How happy? How happy is the little stone? See that little stone? Yeah. And we Dust did. is the only secret. Look at that. Oh my God. That's scary. Ira, you look really like that one. We should bring Ira here. Yeah. That would be fun. <laughs> afraid. Of whom am I afraid? <gasps> Who wouldn't be afraid of that? The big teeth. The grass so little has to do. I think we made a postcard from there. Yeah. Well, that's a it was a, in the hand, hmm? Peter. Will there really be a morning? Oh. Okay. Well, neat. Hmm. All right. So what do you have that for That was you? totally your idea, that camera. Art is cheap. People want it. It looks like a lot of flyers. Lots of flyers, advertising cameras, and this one here. How to This is a nice one. Look at this. The off we go happiness has come. Sure. See nothing, say nothing happiness. <laughs> It's the ordinary royal happiness count. <laughs> Happy as a queen happiness. The bombs are not falling on the my head. The bombs are not falling on my head, happiness. That's our happiness. Heart to heart happiness. Dream on happiness. Enough is not enough happiness. Another world is possible happiness. Where is that? This one here is a little oh. fairy tale king okay. falling out of the tree. Over the hill, fascist democracy happiness. Wait, where is, where is the cover for this calendar? The cover is on the top there. It's and the here. little king lying on the hill. There this we go. 2008. 2008. That's this one. Yeah. Wow, this is a neat one, Archka, isn't it? Yes. I think I should move the back up. This is too low. Like, this should be up here. So you uh, can read yeah, it. Yeah, This it's is too, too low. It's too but low. it says, yeah. after so much lush color in our 2006 homeland calendar with vegetables, 2007 bread and puppet museum calendars, don't you agree? It is time to return to the stark power <laughs> and the sensible sobriety the elegant simplicity of the plain black and white. Only the full moons and the two little stars offer a glimmer of respite. Oh, so okay. here's our Excellent. yellow. Nice. The twinkle, twinkle happiness. <laughs> and then there's just happiness. Oh, Grace Paley's poem is on here. Oh, That's what was dedicated. Oh. Happiness, if you, you don't want me to read it probably. Do you want me to read it? Okay, so if you have acquired a taste for happiness, it's very hard to do without. So you can just try jollity for a while, jokes and merriment. Song is one of the famous methods for continuing or entertaining happiness. You may say, what about, ooh, what about sex? Is it its own keen pleasure or according to some, the night sorrow, here is another example of ordinary joy. It is prose, but uses the whole days and nights, the gathering together of comrades in bitter disagreement, and then resolution followed by determined action. Still the face of life will change, partly because of those miserable scratches it makes, partly because of its own aging on the surface. And then happiness in the risky business labor of repair of the world, after which for the uns, 
satiated, there will be surely talking all night, dancing in the schoolrooms and the kitchens, and later love of happiness, and most of all, happiness. Grace Paley uh, began, it says, begin against collected poems, um, 2000. 2000. It says, glad to be alive, happiness, with a little teeny yeah. skeleton. Glad to be alive, happiness. Nice. Uh, good. Okay, Excellent. onward. Thank you. Onward. Onward. Somebody's got to teach that girl how to read out loud. Uh, it's so impressive. Is it great, Alexa? It's tiny, it's tiny. <laughs> what a good hanging job she did. Okay, well, we don't have much more on this floor, but this is 2007. And these are the these color are photographs, photographs, the only color photographs I saw in 2007. Ron Simons or who's? Yeah, I'm sure. 2007 Ron. would be Ron, yeah. Would but you know Ron. what, this could be Massimo. Massimo. Yeah. Massimo. What does that say in front of you tomorrow, that three, the back side of the calendar? This one's Massimo. Huh. This one is Massimo. Oh no, Jack. This also. one's Jack. Remy, Remy, Massimo, and Jeff. Oh, what? Yeah, the so that's Remy. That's That's curious. That's so. cool. Remy was published in this calendar. Great. Okay. Good. Yeah. And then, well, I guess when you turn the wheelchair this way, Peter, 2005. Every single stairwell, there's three stairwells, four stairwells here, and every single one is a whole calendar. Is a whole calendar. And I tried to do them like, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013. So you could walk through and have it be oh, sort and of in uh, order. Oh, the monochrome is so good to see. You have so, this green stone. Yeah, green this green. one is upside down world. Yeah. 2005. Rents, affluence. President elects population. That's what Brecht said after the Berlin uprising. He said, if the government can't agree with the population, why don't they find themselves uh -huh. another population? I bet Lila had something to do with this too, right? Yeah. Picking, Probably. reversing yeah, this yeah. image. Right. Wow, that's good. Okay. It's on the side. Can you see it? This yeah. 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 It's yeah. So we will go back and up the elevator and when we get to the top you can just have a little tea and look at the last just because okay. I know you're tired and we're almost done. <laughs> Why does this calendar is titled after the main production of the Diagonal Life Theory and Practice. Which actually the first version of that was in the, either the late 60s or early 70s in right. New York and we took it on tour. Europe. I was wondering if it said something about that, but not really. Yeah. Doesn't refer to the older history of diagonal life. Because George Bartemiev played Diagonal Man in Polish, and he learned Polish. And when after the show, people came to him and addressed him in Polish. He didn't know Polish at all. He had learned them, but they also thought he spoke Polish. And now we go. You okay, can yeah. Only. Can I make this one? Yes, I yeah. think I can. So here's 2019. Look, it's called the Brands. And this is the one, this is the other picture photograph one. Ah. The great pictures of the Brands. This is all Rod Simon, basically. Oh, yeah? Could be, yeah. And the wife and the wife. <laughs> What? The book ahead of us. Oh my god. Oh, I just left. Oh, the oh, yeah. finally. Oh, <laughs> I'm smiling. <laughs> but this one 
There we and are. It was, it was some black and white like this? The first one. Yeah. The Eight. first one. 85. Yeah, this is 1988. Really different. It's almost like a newsprinting. For like collage. What's that one there? That's another 1988. Yeah. The second, second version, right? There were two that year? So this is 1988, and this is 1988. Ah, oh, right. These two. And, no. the, and this one was an objective camera. No, I remember that in yeah, Italy. Yeah, so yeah. a lot of this must have been Italy, because I remember being the warehouse and... Oh. Uh, so this is 91. What was that, Moscow? Um, it says... See what it says. Okay. The text opposite is a Russian translation of the 1989 Insurrection Oratorio, Uprising of the Beast. It was recited in unison at the end of the show. Our planet is the bright, high-spirited beast. Blah, blah, blah. Goes on. Um, Uprising of the Beast was created in the fall of 1989 using elements from the year's domestic resurrection circus pageant. It was performed in the gym in the Massachusetts College of Art. I remember. 89 and the Ansaldo factory in Milan, Italy mm -hmm. in what? January of 1990. It required a huge indoor space and the participation of 80 volunteers who rehearsed with bread and puppet crews for six days. In 1990, the play toured there was in the Soviet Union and Moscow and three Siberian towns, Tom Tomsk, Siberia. Uh, Abakhen, Abakan and Nobile, yep. Basuka. And then that's where the puppet festival. These Abakan. photos are from the rehearsals and performances. And, oh. Yeah, that's Abakan. We went to a Siberian puppet festival to find out that Siberia had more puppet schools and puppet theaters than the whole of the United States. <laughs> Siberia. Wow. Yeah. wow. <laughs> Did you visit any of them? Huge companies of like a hundred people. So that's where you got so many volunteers or people interested yeah. in sponsoring yeah. you and wow. Yeah. Wow. A lot. You're almost done, Elka. You just you have want to turn to this wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this is so. This is a curiosity of the second 1988. So it was this objective calendar and yeah. this the same year. Exactly. And it didn't have any discussion about it. It was just produced. But the thing was, it was produced in '87. So maybe it was. I don't know. Well, I remember having fun with clipping the New York Times for slogans. Oh, that's where you the got all this? Luxuries. That's cool. They'll help you plan a song the future. Yeah. And peace. Yeah, all these wonderful slogans. I remember one show I did in the community center. You had giant paintings where you glued New York Times pieces to the paintings, too. Wow. I don't know if it was near the same time, but probably a lot after. remember this one, Oscar, the archetypal slogan? Barely, barely, yeah. barely. I remember yeah. the name, but I don't remember the pictures. Yeah. What's uh, all this fun of collaging words into it? Well, I wanted to say that um, um, Olive, who you just met here, we were going to have tea with in the kitchen. Yeah. This is her whole gallery space, and she has been Curating for how many years? Ten, uh, eight. Eight years oh with God. rotating shows, one oh after another. God. Thank you, Olive. And I got to see so many calendars I've never really studied before. I was, I was helping Alexis go. Tap, tap. <laughs> 1,100. Copper nails. It's a good title. That was the best title. So yeah. I was thinking you could wheel in here backwards a little bit and yes. sit down and we That's can have just a little rest Indeed. before the yeah. last. I'll show you to that best one here. Good. There's bread and diori. I wonder what that is. Where do they buy the bread? I know, really. I can't even wait. I have to have some immediately. Hey. But also more the and pumpernickel. So if anybody wants to 
take a pumpernickel oh, home, wow. help yourself. Oh, wow. We should maybe give all of a little. Oh, please, please. Yeah. Yes. Would you like a piece? No, no. Olive, would I'm you like to take a flannel? Oh, have some tea. Nickel? Yes. Yeah, if we have pumpernickel. No, I'll, I'll take you know, a cake. Yeah. seven hour baking in low temperature in our mm -hmm. home comfort in the mm -hmm. kitchen. Mm -hmm. And it's... Tamar, would you have a little tea? It's half sourdough mm -hmm. and half sprout, sprouted. Oh boy. My berries. I should have a piece no. right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is the... Peter so, can it looks like it's very very if you put water yeah. on it, everything would start growing. <laughs> My psalm breaking bread yeah. with Peter and Elka in the third floor gallery on the beautiful historic Hardwick Inn by the river. Come and see the show. And um, if you have time, you must call me and arrange for a massage appointment because that's yes. what we all need anyway. And if you can't do that, you go, ah, <laughs> and that's from Peter. <laughs> uh, I'm going to take my So Poppy brought some aioli? I made some aioli. Oh, wow. This is garlic scape, so it's not hot. It's very mild and one, mm -hmm. just the, the flowers. And this I would love for you to take with you. This was the uh, the liniment that you like, oh, wow. the oil. Should I give it to Tamara to manage yeah. all the extra? Thank you, Alexis. You're welcome. This is a commemorative that was from the original Catamount Brewery. <laughs> So we have to put that in your bag. That is reissued. And this is... Uh, that's strictly not for drinking. This is so old you can't smoke it. But it's from when I went to Cuba. And it's a oh, real challenge. Cuban cigar. Okay, well, give me a light piece of it. <laughs> but you can smell it's still there with you. It's from Cuba. It's from Cuba. And I bet he will smoke it in private. But it's so... Yeah. It's been sealed, but He's still. He's just been getting... Brother Castro. Oh God! So this is like this is it's a small this for Brother Castro. Remember the long ones. You might small. have to wrap it with a, another piece of leaf or something because it's really. I'll invent a cigar message. I'm sure you will. <laughs> <laughs> I don't tell a man how to handle a cigar. Oh, That's all geez. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Well, Alexis, you give the the. the <laughs> Was that on TV? <laughs> 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 all this pinning. Jerome, yeah. and endlessly, <laughs> and Olive, constantly. And Olive. Tap, oh, tap, 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 tap. Um, a man named Stephen Miracle, who I introduced you to once, who did all these copper spiral invention of the hanging. What? And then um, Heather, who has a massage therapy office, helped me for a day. And Yana, my friend from Russia, from St. Petersburg, she helped me for a day. She actually hung the, the, the pictures from, from the Russia rehearsal pictures. How appropriate. And she, um, and... And McNeil. McNeil, of course. Oh, oh God, I've got to show you this. Oh, my God. Would you give them all loaves, please? I'll leave loaves with you. Alexis, and share some bread? Oh, yeah, for please. sure. Yeah. I've given everybody a calendar. And then we could put one of these in your bag, maybe? Yeah. Okay. And then, or two, you can put one yeah. up to the museum. And, and then to this, make the poster, we work with Mark and Donna. Donna and Mark helped, because Donna's taking a class on poster making oh. and oh, wow. design. So. And, and then and then Dee Dee helped because Dee Dee gave Everything. Donna and Mark the lettering the uh, the bread uh, the bread and puppet play. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. And, <laughs> and this is McNeil hanging the pictures of the washerwoman oh, calendar. Oh, okay. So there's oh, McNeil. Neat. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. So this is a press release. Oh, this is so. a great job. Good. Wonderful. Yes. Okay, we really did it. Wonderful. Thank you. 
And there were two very special people that yeah. helped, which is w making the, these reproductions, mm -hmm. a woman named Ollie and a woman named Isabel, who I encouraged to apply for the job, because she's a phenomenal printer. She's too, probably too young. But they basically donated $3,000 worth of time and, pr and product wow. as a oh gift. God. So it was a huge, and I searched, you know, I applied to get a sponsor for a really long time. Mm. And then when they gave it to us, it was like, okay. In Montpelier? Uh, yeah, Berlin. Yeah. yeah. Mm. And wow. so, um, and I gave them, the, I let them choose a, Lila let them pick a, a print and a, and a um, poster. And so anyway, that was a really great um, mm -hmm. donation. So these are all copies. The, everything's a copy. Yeah. So this show will, after it comes down here, it could move to one site. I was thinking in Bellows Falls because uh -huh. it's a giant factory that's just opening as an art space. Mm -hmm. And Bread and Puppet is going to be the first exhibition. Oh. So I thought it would be great to be Elka's calendars and Peter's paintings because oh, it's no, a yeah. warehouse yeah. and it's called the Flatiron Building, uh -huh. and um, she owns like a also a coffee house and a center. So I have a destination for this after it comes down, but we'll have to get new hammers. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, I'm really glad that we made this today happen. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really yeah, glad too. you could be here tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, great. Wonderful. So we have yeah. one final hallway, and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then you get to go home. <laughs> you so that you have <laughs> no. This is just to keep you going. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Well, thanks for really so glad to have you show this. So look at this line. It's very talk about architectural. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's 1994. The grandma. Mm -hmm. This hall gets the most traffic because this is where all of the offices. Yes. Mother-in-law. Aunt. Son-in-law. Sister. Mother, uncle, cousin, daughter, <laughs> and on the other side all the photos. We can get that on the way back. That's there. Two different Circus, 1981. Huh? 1985. And then the star one. Look at the star one. Oh gosh. <laughs> The star club, now look at this. And I know that means happy yeah. Like Everybody's doing great in there. This is where people wait for their massage with um, Olive, and so they can sit while they're waiting for their massage and look at... And stare at stars. Mm -hmm. star All the stars. And there's the waterfall, so it sounds really nice. <laughs> Stargazing. What a view. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. What a view. Yeah, beautiful. And the waterfall is right underneath. Oh, yeah. gosh. So I think you've been back into Olive's room in reverse like this. Yep. Maybe. I'm not sure. Way. Right is all of the years of the domestic resurrection circus yeah. photographs. Yeah. 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 So the, the dancers with the globes, remember that? Yeah. Yes. The museum, yeah. Those are heavy. Yeah. Did you have fun? Did you dance yeah. one of those? Yeah. Everybody did, right? Nineteen ninety-three. Back to the all. And that's where we are going. We're done. Yeah, we did it. Bye, Olive. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted to share a little bit about why this project was really important to me and still is and why I wanted to dedicate myself to um, this exhibition, this dual exhibition. These calendars also mark the same amount of time that I've actually been working with the theater, this is 36 years I guess, and I have been truly inspired and enamored by Elka and her work and her dedication and the press, the museum, the collaborations, the organization, the singing, the sacred harp. And when she had her stroke a few years ago and then her fall more recently, it tied into some of my own life experiences of uh, my mom having a fall and being a caregiver. And just thinking about um, how the importance of her entire 36 year dedication to producing these calendars needed to be needed to be drawn together and shown so that she herself could go through and see her life's work and stimulating especially post-traumatic brain injury stimulating a kind of a historical through line of her work Every year, these calendars represent what was happening that year at Bread and Puppet, what we were immersed in, what we were, what Peter, what was Peter's focus. And, and Elka would grab those elements and consolidate them, often with Lila um, and other uh, printmakers' help. But she came um, today and to see her just recalling incredible pieces of history about the Bread and Puppet Theater through these calendars. And I know for many of us, we've all had a calendar on our wall all these years, and it marks something about um, what we've experienced, what we know about, and what we are passionate about in terms of politics and why Bread and Puppet has been one of the most important things in my life. And I wanted to do this as a thank you and to Elka and Peter as well. And so, I'm super excited this exhibit will be up through the summer in the Hardwick Inn, and um, I hope you enjoy the show. <laughs>